I think if I was to say what's the number one core principle for self-reliance, it would be to live within your means. And there's two ways to live within your means. One is to increase your means, which means increase your income. The second is to reduce your expenses so that you, whatever income you make, exceeds what you spend. And things like this cabin are a great way to reduce your expenses, but it makes um, earning an income difficult. So you have to have some sort of income stream that you can count on. Now there's several ways to do that in this day and age, such as this YouTube channel, there's vlogging, there's writing articles, there's photography and videography. There's uh, being a handyman to the local residents. Uh, in our case, with this property, we can harvest maple syrup and sell that. There's um, wild edibles that we could harvest and sell. There's things we can raise, such as chickens for eggs and meat. There's other livestock. Quail is a good source of, in of income because you can grow them very quickly and sell the eggs and the meat. So there's a number of things you can do to earn a living in the country. But to the it is more challenging than, than uh, finding a job in the city. But the benefit is that as long as you can control your living expenses as far as your um, food, whatever you're buying in can be more expensive as well as fuel for vehicles because you have to travel further to things like a job or to uh, stock up on supplies. So there's a, there is challenges in the country, but on the other hand, property is much cheaper. If you can build most of your house by hand the way I have, then that's a way to reduce expenses and reduce your capital expenses in the beginning of your project. But number one thing in my opinion to live a self-reliant lifestyle in the 21st century is to live below your means. And that means earning an income, not trying to do everything yourself. So forget the survival, don't forget the survival skills, but survival skills like lighting a fire and building a shelter comes secondary to getting control of your expenses and your spending habits and making yourself more valuable so that you can earn enough income to cover your expenses no matter what they are.